Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, let's look at how to prove limit of sin x by x as x tends to 0 equal to 1. So for that, what we will do? Anyway, we know that we have to use sandwich theorem. I have told in the last session that we will be using sandwich theorem. Not only that, we will also take a help of a unit circle to go ahead with the proof. We have a unit circle here with center as O, radius OA, OB equal to 1 and whenever I say sin of x, you know that x is nothing but angle. So we have the angle here, okay. And uh, how we are going to prove that sin of x by x equal to 1 is, we are going to consider here the geometrical, the comparison of areas which areas we are going to compare we are going to say area of triangle AOB or can I say OAB is nothing but this triangle OAB is less than the area of the sector OAB so that's nothing but let us say area of triangle OAB is less than area of sector OAB that is less than area of triangle OPB so this is a this is a condition which we are going to Consider, which we know is true because we know that I take this triangle, I add this, I add this segment, then only I get the sector. And uh, whatever the whatever the sector I have, for that I have to add some more area to get the area of triangle OPB. Now let us see what are these areas one by one. Area of triangle OAB is very simple. Half base into height, we know that half into what is my base that's nothing but equal to OB into height height is nothing but AM that is less than area of sector OAB for this I will take calculation here you want the sector OAB okay I know that if it is 2 pi radians angle if it is 2 pi radians angle the area of the circle is nothing but pi r square but r equal to 1 here r equal to 1 here so that's nothing but equal to pi so can I say here angle area we are looking into proportion now if angle is 2 pi area equal to pi if angle equal to x area will be how much very simple 2 pi becomes pi that means it will be divided by 2 so x will become x by 2 simple and straightforward I can easily say the area of sector OAB is nothing but equal to x by 2 that is less than area of OPB that is nothing but equal to half into OB into PB now let's go to the next line this is nothing but equal to half into OB that is nothing but OB equal to 1 we know that into AM if you can see AM is nothing but sin X because sin of X is nothing but equal to AM by sin of X is equal to AM by OA OA equal to 1 we know that so AM equal to sin x. So can I say half into sin x less than x by 2 less than half into OB is 1 we know. We have to find out what is PB. So if you look at the triangle POB tan of x. Here we are looking at triangle OAB. Now not actually OAB. We are looking at triangle OAM. Now we are looking at triangle POB or let us say OPB. If I look at triangle OPB, tan X is nothing but PB by OB. 
that is nothing but equal to PB. So I can leverage that and I can say half into tan x. So what is the meaning of that? If I can take off, I can take off of 1 by 2. I will have sin x less than x less than tan x. But what we are interested in, we are interested in finding out sin x by x. So what I will do, I want sin x by x. So can I say, I will divide throughout by sin x. Dividing throughout by sin x will give me 1 less than x by sin x is less than tan x that is nothing but sin x by cos x into 1 by sin x. Sin x sin x will cancel. So I will have that gives me 1 less than x by sin x less than 1 by cos x. So we have seen so many times whenever we have something like 1 less than 3 less than 5 we know that that is nothing but equal to 1 by 5 less than 1 by 3 less than 1. If 1 is less than 3, 3 is less than 5 you reciprocal them then the order will change. It will become 1 by 5 that is 0 0.2 is less than 1 by 3 that is 0 0.33 less than 1. So similarly we can apply here the same logic and we can write it as cos x because 1 by 1 by cos x is cos x less than 1 by x by sin x is nothing but sin x by x is less than we have 1 so I will have I have taken 1 less than x by sin x less than 1 by cos x now if we try we want sin x by x so we have to reverse this when I reverse this the order will change so I have to start from cos x now less than sin x by x less than 1 ok now if we apply limit on this we know that limit of x tends to 0 cos of x is nothing but equal to 1. Also we know limit of x tends to 0 1 is equal to 1. So can we say by sandwich theorem by sandwich theorem we can say that limit of x tends to 0 sin x by x is nothing but equal to 1. So let us have a look at this how, this, how this looks with respect to plotting this, the graphs of, if I plot the graph of cos x and 1 and look at sin x by x as x tends to 0, is it moving towards 1? Is it tending towards 1? Is the limit 1 or not? We will have a look at it. So that is how you can prove that limit x tends to 0 sin x by x equal to 1. We will just have a look at the graph and we will wind this up. Let us look at how this looks like. So we know that first I should have cos of x. So let us first put 1. How We know the graph of 1, how it looks like 1. Okay. Then we want cos x. So we are saying that 1 limit as x tends to 0 1 and cos of x limit to 1 so sin of x by x also should limit to 1 that is what we are saying now you can see here this is where I have 1 you can see that as x tend is x tending towards 0 cos x tends to 1 because cos 0 equal to 1 now if, I no, now if I introduce here sin x by x, what happens? Now if I introduce to here sin x by x, you can see that the sin x by x values also will be limiting towards 1 because 
we know that if f of x is less than g of x which is less than h of x for all values then all of their limits should be equal so that's what sandwich theorem says so if 1 and cos of x are limiting to 1 as x tends to 0 sin of x by x also will limit to 1 if 1 and cos of x are limiting to 1 as x tends to 0 sin x by x this is what we have added just now I'll just remove it and add it again you can see that this is the one which has gone just now that is the one sin x by x that also you can see very clearly as x tends to 0 they they will have the same limit all three of them so that's how we can let me just try to summarize this before I wrap it up. We have to prove as x tends to 0 limit sin x by x equal to 1. So what we have considered? We have considered a unit circle in which we use it the condition, we use it the statement that area of triangle OAB is less than area of the segment which is less than area of OPB. We know that the radius is 1 so that makes it easy we get that area of triangle equal to of, of sin x and area of sector is nothing but equal to x by 2 and area of triangle OPB is nothing but of tan x. Now we simplify, we get sin x less than x less than tan x. We are interested in sin x by x. So after a couple of steps, once we manipulate, we will get cos x less than sin x by x less than 1 and we have seen just now in the graph also how sin x by x is sandwiched between the graphs of cos x and 1 and the limit is also equal to 1. Therefore, as x tends to 0 sin x by x equal to 1, we also know that as x tends to 0 limit of cos x equal to 1. This also proves us that as x tends to 0, limit of tan x by x is e also equal to 1 because tan x is nothing but sin x by cos x into 1 by x. I can write them as sin x by x into 1 by cos x. We know this limits to 1 and also cos x limits to 1. So you can also say limit x tends to 0, sin x by x equal to 1, not only that, tan x by x is also equal to 1. So we will leverage that and we will try to do some limits related to trigonometric functions. So see you in the next session. Thanks for your time. Bye for now.